sexual healings. <laughs> Y'all are 67 today and I have one more little quick tip to tell you, but look at my beautiful lake. Look at it. So nice. I think I'll bring the pups out for a little walk. I was just coming to you with one more quick snippet and here it is. You know, I was noticing as I ran into people over the holiday of Thanksgiving that um, you would assume, I know you would assume that people around me know how I eat, wouldn't you? And you would assume that, well you might not assume they give a fruit, but they really don't. They don't even realize that like I have a YouTube channel. People that are in my life every day that, you know why? Because people care about what they're doing. People are so stinking self-centered now. They don't care. It is all about them. It is the very reason that my son and daughter can't have a relationship with certain people because it's all about them. And the thing is with teenagers, you're going to go where they are. You know what I mean? And you're going to be interested in what they're interested in. Or guess what? You're going to be excluded. And I find doing that, that, that I retrieve grand things from my children. Because it's like I always tell y'all, teenagers, they've got such good things to say. And so much going on. And people give them no credit. So the thing is, here it is. Whatever your excuse is that maybe, oh, well, how, how will you, you know, go through this month on a green smoothie cleanse? Or how would you possibly, you know... I, I don't want to hear how you're bloated and how maybe you've got PMS and you need whatever fix because you have PMS. It is that very time of the month for me any day now. And so when you get past your cravings and you get past your toxic existence, then that's not going to affect you anymore. You will be able to leave the home anytime, anywhere, and you will be in control of your domain. You know what I mean? Don't leave the house undercarbed. Have all your food with you. Get in your nutrients and, and drive down the road like you own your domain, you know? Tip it on back. <laughs> Here's another little tidbit for you ladies and gentlemen that may want to get your lady on the low fat raw vegan bandwagon. You know, years ago, I had really noticed um, my sexual desire go down to almost nothing and a lot of things were happening to me where um, this is back years and years ago when I used to even go to the gynecologist which I avoid at all costs now but them trying to give me a partial hysterectomy do a um, uterine ablation, which is where they run this hot water up and, and burn your insides so all these reactions don't happen. But the thing is, now that I have been on low-fat raw vegan consistently for over eight years, I have minimized, really, they're, they're null and void. Those problems I don't have anymore. I feel as vibrant and sexually alive as I did when I was 18 or 20, you know. Um, I don't have any kind of pre-menopause, menopause, none of these things. Very regular cycle. I could even tell you like when I'm ovulating. Very, very regular. I mean, I have no doubt in my mind at 43 years old, I could absolutely have a baby, a healthy baby, and be pregnant like that. However, that would be scary because that would be immaculate conception, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, the point is not to have to be hurting all the time, not to have to go into this pre-menopause, menopause, and then doctors try to cram all these drugs in your face and try to level out and try to take body parts out. I want to have all my body parts, you know, and a lot of people have already gone through this and they, they know it'll throw you into early menopause. I don't want any of that. I want to be a natural being. You know what I'm saying? 
So look forward to that because if you can be consistent, your body will know what to expect. You know, our body does so much for us. I mean, think about it. You get cut and it tries to heal. You get sick and it tries to expel these toxins. All the things your body does for you. You know, but yet, what do we do? We, we destroy our body, we trash our body, we smoke it up, drink it up, eat toys instead of nutritious food. And what do we expect, you know? What we should do is love and nurture our body. Give it the fuel it needs so that you can repair and regenerate what harm has been done already. And most of all, love you for you today. Like, instead of thinking, my thighs are disgusting, they rub together. What about my legs are magnificent, they take me where I want to get to. The older I get, the more I appreciate. Like, I used to hate my feet because I wear a size 10 and I just never... My dad used to call me Flipper when I was a kid because I had this size feet when I was in seventh grade. It was very odd, but I grew tall quickly like Christopher did. And, you know, it gave me a, a complex and he was just being funny, but I forever could not stand my feet. But in the past recent years, I have started appreciating those feet, you know, appreciating the, the curves and, and the bones in there and the way they take me where I want to get. I used to not like my hands because they were long and they were a lot of times bigger than the guy I was dating or, or you know, they're long and I don't know, and people were always putting their hands up beside mine saying, God, your hands are big or, you know, and it made me not like them. But over these past few years, I have embraced who I am and love myself for that. I love my hands for the love they can give people. For, for the things they do, you know, not just about what they look like. We've got to get past that. We've got to get on with loving ourselves, loving ourselves enough so your body can run like it's supposed to and quit destroying it and actually give it the, the loving properties it needs to thrive, you know? That's a good point, don't you think? in the car with Tanny. I was just thinking to myself about talking to y'all about the green smoothie cleanse when you're having your dinner component. Now you may just think to yourself, okay, green smoothies, I'm just going to have fruit and greens all day. And oh yeah, Tanny tells me to put a little chia seeds in there to balance the blood sugar. Those chia seeds, if you will put half of a tablespoon in each of your green smoothies, you will find a huge difference in the sustainability of those smoothies and the brain balance. You will just seem to be humming along all day long. You know what I'm saying? So here's the, here's what's kind of exciting about a green smoothie cleanse is that in the evening, you are going to take your blender or preferably high speed blender, but it doesn't have to be. You're going to again put a lot of greens. Greens is, is the power punch, don't forget that. So put in a huge amount of greens, about half of a Vitamix full. This is also what's gonna keep you full. This is where you're gonna put your fat component of the day. You can either put, if you're running about a 2,000 calorie diet, I've said this before, it's about a half of a regular size avocado. It's about four tablespoons of raw hulled hemp seeds. Um, that was raw hulled hemp seeds, if you didn't understand my accent. Somebody was like, what's she saying the other day? Okay, or you could have, um, like a tablespoon of nut butter. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the nut butter. It bogs me down, it's, a, it's acid forming. So if I were you when I was on this cleanse, just cross that out, okay? You can use that typically in your soups and things, but for the cleanse, let's try to keep it to the clean, shall we? To the alkaline forming fats and foods. Um, okay, so you're gonna have your little bit of fat, you're gonna have all of your greens. Now what I prefer is to do more of a savory existence so you're going to have like um tomato is a great base zucchini carrots um anything you would think about being in a v8 style drink you know those kind of hearty vegetables um i would stay away from the potato and not potato don't use that raw but sweet potato you can sometimes get away with a little bit of that but um 
I would still steer clear of that. It's harder to digest. Um, I would go with more of the water-rich vegetables and savory fruits, non-sweet fruits, like tomatoes. So cr making it creamy is good with um, zucchini, eggplant, um, cauliflower, all these very base tasting, like cauliflower ultimately doesn't have that much taste, but it has a lot of texture. You can add in some mild peppers. I would try not to go too, too hot on the peppers. You know, this is a problem for me. I'm going to stay away from that. I'm going to maybe use a mild pepper, maybe not. Okay, you could use a little bit of mild green onions. I'm not going to. I'm going to steer clear of that. I'm going to have a very mild tasting V8 style smoothie for dinner with a little bit of hemp seeds in there because that's what I have on hand today. So I did just want to say that you can blend it in your Vitamix until it is warm to touch. If you have a meat thermometer and you're not used to doing that, keep a temperature check because you don't want to kill the live food properties. You don't want to kill the enzymes when you're trying to ease your digestion assimilate all the nutrients why do you want to kill the food right we want live food for a live body right so christopher will be very excited i'm on the way to get him and then here's what i was going to tell you on the way to his school there's a curb market that i don't always go to but they have a new table that is the i think it's 29 cent table everything is 29 cents a pound and it's stuff that needs to be eaten today and guess what i need to eat today ding 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 so that's a win-win for the veggies and for tanny so i will be stopping by there and what's exciting is i don't know what i might get it's going to depend on what they have there and then if i have to i will venture over to the other tables but I, i'm manifesting some sales today so so christopher will be excited because a couple of days ago, it was about a week ago, I was fussing, fussing at Ellie Mae, my little dog, because Maxie, my big dog, who's little too, he was in there just whining, uh, 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 and I was kept on saying, stop it, stop it. I finally went in there. Well, Ellie Mae is laid on their little blanky dog bed, just on her back, you know, like she's just, okay. And Maxie's just a whining, and he's, he wouldn't stop. I turned on the light. And I thought she had pee peed all in their bed. It was soaking wet and there she was just laying in it like, <laughs> like it was a water bed. And here he was fussing. I, I chewed her out and now I feel bad because I have realized when I cleaned the blinds this week, there was stain all down those. And I got to looking and following the trail up to the ceiling and guess what? my ceiling is leaking it's about a two foot by three foot existence of stain on the ceiling and it was still moist and a couple of months ago a huge limb you know i have all those trees in my yard fell on my house it sounded like it sounded like santa's sleigh landed on there so of course this morning i call the homeowners do you think that i'm covering under that well no so christopher and i are going to venture up onto the roof today well, I'm going up there. I don't know if he's going or not, but we're going to see what needs to be done and what repairs we need to make because I'm ultimately a man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs>